Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolotech and I wanted to show you how to downgrade from iOS 18 to iOS 17 without losing data. Maybe you've installed iOS 18, you've been trying it out with the new dark mode icons, maybe some different apps and you're having some bugs or issues, or you just don't like it and you want to use an iOS 17 public release that's stable. I wanted to show you how to do that step by step. Now, the first thing is you're going to need a computer in order to downgrade. You'll need a windows computer running iTunes or music, or you'll need a Mac and use the finder. So as long as you have one of those two things, you can actually downgrade. If you don't have a computer, the only thing you can do is bring it to Apple to have them do this for you. Other than that, you'll have to actually wait until the next versions come out or the public versions. There is no way to downgrade without using a computer or bringing it to Apple. Now I wanted to caution before downgrading as it will typically wipe everything off your device. So you'll need to make sure that you either have a backup from iOS 17 or that you have everything synced on iCloud. The first thing you'll need is all of your passwords as typically when you go to set this back up specific apps, whether that's X or Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, other third party apps, Google, you may need to sign back in. So you'll need to make sure that you have that information for your username and passwords. Also, you want to make sure you have a backup. If we go into settings, then tap our name at the top. Then if we go into iCloud within iCloud, you can see the nice new menu with iCloud plus or different storage options you have and everything that's saved to iCloud. The first thing I did was make an iCloud backup before I upgraded to iOS 18. If you don't have that, some of the data may not be available. However, if everything is synced, it won't be a problem, but you can see here, you can back up now. I backed up a couple hours ago, so I'm ready to go here. And if we go back to saved to iCloud, you can see all of the different things that are synced. Everything from iCloud photos to my passwords and keychain, notes, messages in iCloud. And if we scroll down, anything that we have checked here will sync to iCloud and we'll be able to get that information back with a restore. So all of these things should be synced and just seamlessly move across with the exception of maybe some of your passwords. Those sort of things may need to be input again, just for authentication reasons and security, but everything else, including your data should be backed up. But either way, I would still do a backup on this version as well. So if you do have a problem, worst case scenario, you can go to iOS 18 and restore from an iCloud backup. You can also do a backup directly on iTunes on windows or using the finder on a Mac. But if you have all of these things synced to iCloud, they should just restore, including everything from WhatsApp or anything else there. As long as you have a backup in those specific apps and different things like that, you're good to go. If you don't in WhatsApp, make sure you go into it and do a backup there and any other app that's critical to you, make sure it's synced to iCloud or you have a separate backup somewhere else. Now, in order to get this ready to go to actually do the restore, what you'll need to do is put it into recovery mode. I find that's the easiest way to get this to restore. In order to put it into recovery mode, what you want to do is turn the phone off first, and you can do that now in iOS 18 by going into your control center, press and hold on the button in the upper right and slide to power off. Give that a moment to power off. And then what you'll do is take your Mac cable or your cable coming from windows with USB-C or lightning, depending on your phone. And while you actually plug this in, plug it in, press and hold the power button and keep holding it. So we'll give it a moment here. I'll just keep holding the power button here and I'll show you what happens. So I'm continuously holding it. We'll give it a moment. And now it says support.apple.com slash iPhone slash restore. And it shows this symbol here. This is recovery mode and on your Mac or windows computer, it will say that it's actually in recovery mode. So let's go ahead and switch over to the Mac and I'll show you how to do this step by step. Now, before we continue and show you how to restore this, maybe you've changed your mind and you no longer want to do that. And you just want to stay on iOS 18, but you're stuck in restore mode. Unplug your phone, then press volume up, volume down, and then press and hold the power sleep wake button. Let me show you how to do that. Volume up, volume down, press and hold. We'll keep holding. It will reboot and it should kick it out of restore mode. And then we'll actually be able to use the phone. So wait until the Apple logo shows up. We'll give it just a moment here. Wait for it to show up. There we go. And then let go of the power sleep wake button and it should boot up as normal. So we'll give it just a moment to show you how this works while it continues to boot up. 
That way you can kick it back out of restore mode if you don't want to restore it and wipe everything off of it. There we go, it rebooted. We'll swipe up, we'll put in our passcode. Once your password's in, now you can just go into your settings. Everything should look the same. If we go to software update, you'll see that we're on the latest iOS 18 version. So if you want to downgrade now, let's go ahead and put it back into restore mode and then connect to the Mac again. So now we're ready to restore our iPhone and get it back to iOS 17. What we'll want to do is click on restore iPhone if you haven't done that already then go ahead and click restore and update. This will wipe all of the information off this device and you'll be able to restore the other information from iCloud or a previous backup. Go ahead and click restore and update and then click next. Then click agree. Once it does that, it's going to download iOS 17 or the latest version. This could take time depending on the speed of your internet connection. So give it a few minutes to download and then it will begin the restore process. So we'll give it a few minutes and then we'll continue. Once it's done downloading, it will extract the software. It will take a few moments depending on which Mac you're using and its overall speed. But once that's completed, then it will begin the restore and install process. So let me show you this at least in real time. It's currently 12, 14 PM. You can see here on my 15 Pro Max, and let's see how long this actually takes. So it says it's restoring and preparing the iPhone, and it reboots it to prepare it for restore. Again, give it just a moment here. It will continue to do this in the background. It's going to take a bit to prepare for restore. You'll start to see the progress cut bar here continue across completely normal. Just wait for it to complete. Once it says it's done restoring, it's going to reboot the phone, give it just a few minutes to do that, and we should be good to go. So we'll just leave the iPhone connected. You'll see it just rebooted. And again, we'll give it a moment to boot up and we should be back on iOS 17. Now the phone rebooted, it says iPhone locked to owner. That's because I didn't sign back in with my find my account. All I have to do is swipe up now and then go ahead and set it up like I normally would. Now you can bring in another phone or iPad to set this up more easily or just walk through it step by step. You can customize your appearance. We'll tap continue. And then we can either set it up with another device like I mentioned, or just use your own device. Since I have one nearby, I'll just sign it in that way. You can do that simply by setting it up like that. It will connect, connect your accounts and make your life a little bit easier if you have a different iPhone or iPad. If not, just tap continue and set it up using your username and password. Once you've put in your username and password, if you already had an eSIM on the device and you chose not to wipe it, it will actually ask you just keep continuing through, or you can set it up later, go through the data and privacy settings, choose whatever you'd like, and then tap continue, then set up face ID. You can choose to use it with a mask or not up to it's up to you. And then we'll tap continue. Now you can transfer your data, whether that's from iCloud or from another phone. We want to choose from iCloud, or if you're using iTunes, you could choose there as well under other options. So again, we'll wait for it to set up our Apple ID and give it just a moment. Now we'll sign in with our account. We have to agree to the terms and services. Again, it continues to sign in. Back on the Mac, you can see here's the iPhone 15 Pro and it's asking if I want to set it up as a new device or restore from this backup. It's up to me, but if you want to restore through iTunes or a Mac, you'll want to choose from Mac or PC. If not, choose from iCloud or you could just not transfer anything and everything that's synced in iCloud will just sync back, but you could have a regular setup or a completely refreshed setup. So I'll go ahead and restore from an iCloud backup and it will give me my options from the backup I made earlier today. And we have some previous backups. You'll probably have some as well, but we can choose whatever we'd like. I did back this up before I actually updated it to iOS 18. So I'll use that one. Then it will ask me what I want to transfer from that backup. I want everything. So I'll just tap continue. Then we'll wait for a moment. We can set up emergency SOS if our phone supports it. And then it says restore from iCloud. Now to get to this point took from 1214 to 1226. So about 15 minutes or so, give or take depending, but the actual restore itself was closer to about seven to 10 minutes. So it doesn't take terribly long to get the initial restore. The restore from iCloud could take much longer depending on your internet connection and how much data you have to restore. So we'll give it a moment to restore and then we'll come back and check it after. Now the phone rebooted after the initial restore, it took about 15 minutes or so. Let's go ahead and log in and you'll see it's updating everything on the iPhone, just like it was on iOS 17. So if we go into our settings, 
We'll give it just a moment here where it's restoring 42 gigabytes. So it's going to take some time to bring everything back from iCloud and all of your other information. But if we go to general, then software update, give it just a moment here, you'll see we're on iOS 17.5.1 completely restored and everything's coming back, syncing up things such as music with all of your playlists. Those will sync back up, but again, it will take some time. The same is true for all of your different apps, whether it's craft that I use for notes or Instagram or anything else. Again, you may have to log into some of those, but you'll see, I even have notifications for my emails as all of that information has been brought back. So it will take a while to install everything here. And once it's done, you'll You'll have all of your messages. If you have them synced in iCloud, the same is true with photos. If we go into that, it's going to take a while to sync, but you'll see here, it says syncing with iCloud it's paused iPhone needs to cool down. So once it's synced, it will bring all of that information back in and you'll have it all restored but just make sure you have those backups ahead of time and be aware of the process takes some time based on internet connection and much more. One other thing worth noting is if you had an iOS 18 backup file and it won't restore to iOS 17, that's because you're now on an older version. There were some workarounds a couple years ago and you could change those backup files themselves, but I would highly recommend against that as that typically causes all sorts of issues. So I wanted to show you the official way that Apple says to do this, to bring all of your information back and typically if you use iCloud, like I mentioned before, all of your data will just be there. Now it's been about an hour later. My wallpaper is back to iOS 17. All of my photos have restored my thousands of photos. As you can see here, 33,000, it could sync a little bit later as well. Once it's plugged in, all of my music playlists are here. If we go into playlists, everything's the same as well as my messages, all of my third party apps and everything else. However, you may need to actually sign into things such as Google for security reasons, X or Twitter, Instagram, discord, or any other third party apps that you're using. You may need to sign into TikTok or any of the others. So just go ahead and do that. Make sure everything's set up and you should be good to go from here on out. Hopefully this helped you downgrade from iOS 18 to iOS 17. And if you found anything else that's helped you along the way, I'd love to hear from you in the comments. If you haven't subscribed already though, please subscribe. And if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like as always. Thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.